All right, y'all doing well as a Bills fan. You know, this pains me to do this video. I'm going to do a video in a few hours about the playoffs, but I got to – that was a heck of a game. I mean, that was a heavyweight fight. I thought that is the two best teams in the AFC and two of the top three quarterbacks going. I think Mahomes is still the best quarterback in the NFL, but Josh Allen is coming. Our defense just couldn't get it, no, get no rush on him, and Kelsey was killing us, and Tyreek Hill too. Um – but I like the aggressiveness. I like the attitude. We definitely were there for the fight. You just got to work a little extra. And I'm going to tell you something. Patrick Mahomes, I, I've said this. I'm going to say this again. He's one of the 10 greatest quarterbacks ever. I don't care what nobody says. He's already made history. He's going his fourth straight AFC championship. The guy has a league MVP. He's won a Super Bowl, runner-up, got a Super Bowl MVP. He's got a story career on this side of the half. So whatever he does, Forever how long he plays, he's a Hall of Famer for his ballot. The Steph Curry of quarterbacks. Um, incredible. And he gave Andy Reid validation. He validated Andy Reid because Andy Reid needed a quarterback that took him to that level. And the guy can finish. I don't care if it's 13 seconds, 3 seconds. This guy gets it done. It's sickening, but it's how it is. Josh Allen ain't got nothing to hold his head, head down about. And, get, and Gabe, Davis, Gabe Davis played out his mind. Um, but just couldn't get no stops. That was it, you know, and it's a disappointing season. Ain't no question about it because it's Super Bowl or bust. I mean, you know who you got to beat. Um, you know what you got to do. The Bills got to get a better attack on the pass rush. They got to be able to lock them knees up. You know, I saw Ed Oliver miss a couple plays earlier. You got to sack Mahomes. You got to contain it. You know, it's hard, easier said than done, but they weren't even trying to run the ball. You just was doing the same that they usually do, so. It's a tough loss. Some people are going to call this the greatest playoff game ever. So I'm going to say, you know, it, 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 it was, to me, it is the Super Bowl because they are the two best teams I've seen. I watched those other games this weekend. Yeah, they came down to field goals and they were close. But this game was a heavyweight fight. Make no mistake about it. Before people say the Rams and Tampa Bay, the Rams had that game. They just made stupid turnovers in that game. Um you know, I'm going to talk about Frisco and Green Bay and talk about Cincinnati and Tennessee. And I think Joe Burrows is coming. That's going to be an interesting matchup, you know. So, you know, but it's a disappointing, tough way to lose. Respect the Bills Mafia and everything. And I think that the Bills, I think Josh is coming. I think his day is definitely going to come. But you know who you got to beat. You know who you have to prepare for. That's why I wasn't all giddy extra about beating New England, you know. Because you know that they're a bigger fish. And the further you go in these postseasons, the tougher the teams get. Unless you're a special team. So, um, please give me your thoughts and takes about the game and the build season. I welcome thoughts and comments. And I do respond, thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another. And, uh, you know, I know they'll be back. But this is one of them games you won't soon forget. And especially when you are so close. And, you know, you, you got to finish it up. I don't care. <clears throat> you got to finish the game up. Can't be playing for close because this ain't horseshoe race. All right, I'm out.